What's up, everybody? This is Colin from Holistic Heritage Homestead. I hope you're all well. I want to talk to you folks about the financial truth when it comes to homesteading. You're going to hear a lot of different things out there when it comes to startup costs for starting a homestead. You're going to hear a lot of different things out there when it comes to continuing costs, monthly expenses when it comes to homesteading. I'm here right now to go through that and hopefully bring you, give you folks some motivation. So first and foremost, very important, everybody's situation is different. So it depends on the type of homesteading you wanna do. So this is the way you need to look at it, folks, like any financial decision in life. What are your goals? Do you want a 100 acre property that's completely self-sufficient with five different types of livestock? Well, those might be some pretty big goals. Or do you want a small off-grid property with some chickens and maybe some pigs? Really depends on your goals. I will tell you, it absolutely takes money to homestead. And I have yet to meet any people personally who do not work and survive completely off of their homestead. That's the, that does not mean it's not possible. And I think that should be the goal. It should be the goal. Personally, that's what I think. It should be the goal to unplug from society. It should be the goal, and I don't mean socially. I mean the beast system that we are playing a part in this financial system. It should be the goal to be as self-sufficient as possible. It should be the goal to produce as much of your own food as possible. It should be the goal to not have to go to work and just make things happen with the fruits of your labor on your homestead. I get it. However, realistically, things cost money. Infrastructure costs money. Um, getting set up costs money. In hindsight, I really wish that we had more money saved up going into this than we did. Now, we had some money, but not as much as I would like. Another thing to think about is, it depends on your skills. I am not a good builder, and I am not good at fixing things. So for me, it comes down to buying stuff and slash or hiring other people to build things and fix things. That is a limiting factor for, for our family. Um, my wife, she's very knowledgeable, but she also is not really able to build and fix too many things. Um, so keep that in mind. If you're able to build and fix, you can save some money there, that way. Um, another thing to keep in mind, it depends on your timeline. How quickly do you want to achieve whatever percentage of, if you could put a percentage on it, self-sufficiency? Do you have a goal of within five years of producing 50% of your own food? Or do you have a goal of in one year producing 5% of your own food. Depends on how you look at it. Um, really, so consider that. Try to come up with some numbers and then break it down and move towards those goals. Another thing is it depends on how nice you want things to look. There's a lot of what I would call like primitive looking, uh, caveman style, ways of doing things. If you want to have all beautiful new raised garden beds, that's going to cost money. If you want a brand new chicken coop that's pre-built, which we have, and that's one of the things we did spend a few thousand bucks on or whatever, it was like over $4,000, worth it in my opinion, um, that's going to cost money. If you want to 
buy a whole bunch of chickens instead of buying a, a humble or small amount of chickens at first then hatching out your own eggs if you have a rooster you need a rooster obviously as well as your hens um, then if you're buying a large flock that's gonna cost some money not too much money chickens are pretty cheap but these things are gonna cost money and be realistic about it. I don't know anybody personally who survives full-time off of their income from their homestead. My wife and I both work, we both work, and the goal is to get my wife home because we feel like that's where she belongs and that's um, going to be better for our family and she can help manage, um, well, first of all, spend more time with our two beautiful children, first and foremost, and also manage our home, manage our property, manage our business ventures, um, and just get a lot more done for our goals. Everybody has their own goals. That doesn't have to be your goal. Um, but in order to do that, we're going to try to get certain side hustles going. So that brings me to my other point, side hustles. Besides working, expect to hustle. Expect to try to make extra money because the goal is to make the money now so that you could live off a smaller income later. Live off a smaller income later. So, brings me to another point. Debt. You do not want to have debt. Ever. At all. Debt is horrible and the person who owes money is slave to the person who that money is owed to. That is, that's how it works, that's reality. Um, and it's horrible. And with today's usurious credit card rates and loan rates, it's absolutely disgusting and people are just putting themselves into financial slavery. Um, so focus on crushing debt. If you can get your bills down to a level that you could survive off of one income, I suggest making that move and then having, assuming that there's gonna be at least two people involved, having the other person, if you have children that can help as well, your children as well, um, so have your spouse, and if you have children, have them help, put their energies towards homesteading ventures. And hopefully, that could get you to the point, to the point of maybe working part-time, or ideal, just surviving off what your homestead produces in the form of whatever goods and or services you can offer. You can teach people different things, how to process animals, how to garden, how to, um, you can teach them about permaculture principles, you can do lots of different things. Teach them about foraging. So there's many different things you can teach. You can sell jams, jellies, plant starts, animals, eggs, meat of different kinds, whatever. There's different ways of making money. Um, so there are ways of doing that. I think that's a beautiful life. I think that's an absolutely amazing life to spend lots of time with your family and to live as much off the land as possible as God intended it us to live, as God intended us to live. And it's the healthiest way to live, which for many reasons I'm not going to get into, supported by science. Um, and that's great. It's, it's absolutely amazing to have that food security that water security, obviously water. Think about water security, folks. Please check out my previous videos talking about water. Um, and it's great, but be prepared. Here's my, here's my, and there's a spectrum to this or, or a range of different numbers that would apply to different people, but here's my number. I recommend if you don't wanna do like glamorous, high-end homesteading, but you wanna be able to get some buildings, like a little barn or some stalls or something, some type of covered shelter, chicken coop, maybe some gardening set up. And that, we're talking seeds, we're talking basic gardening tools, wheelbarrow, uh, wheelbarrow, shovels, basic hand tools, whatever. I think between ten thousand dollars to twenty thousand dollars is enough to get started. And, and, and right now people are going, no way, it costs 50 to 80,000. And you're gonna hear people going, it costs no money. Well, I disagree. Definitely is gonna cost you some money, unless you are going to, for example, <laughs> unless you have certain things already, unless you're going to mine your own 
iron ore out of the ground and forge with your black blacksmithing skills, your own wheelbarrow and your own hand tools, your own shovels, whatever. Unless you're gonna do that. Unless you're going to have the chainsaw, which you're probably gonna have to buy. Cut down trees, create your own lumber with your sawmill, your lumber mill, which you probably have to buy unless you have it. And then build your own chicken coop, build your own barn. It's just gonna cost money, no matter how you look at it, folks. But the beautiful thing about it is it's a, they're, they're great investments as far as your ROI, your return on your investment. If you can get those things going, like our chicken coop, um, I haven't done the numbers and I should do this, but four years, it's probably gonna pay itself off soon. Probably gonna pay itself off soon. And there's also a, not just a quantitative, formulaic, numerical analysis, um, there's also qualitative. The quality of the food that we're putting into our bodies, what it does for our health, because health is wealth, that's priceless. That's actually priceless. If homesteading was more expensive than regular consumerist, wasteful, having a non-production lifestyle, just being a consumer, if it was more expensive than that, we would still do it. Because it's better for our health. It's better for the environment. It's responsible. Um, and the skills that we learn along the way are just incredible and skills that people should have. Because we're people and we should have certain knowledge. We should have certain skills. So I would recommend getting as much as you can. For us, we don't have the money for fencing right now. We don't have the money to buy a bunch of raised beds instead of a beautiful in one place kind of thing. So we're doing what we can do as we go investing. But like our two, uh, besides two raised beds that we have, um, our two garden beds are just caveman style garden beds that I got a bunch of rocks on our property and made a general shape started filling it with organic matter and whatever. So there's ways of doing it. I recommend get started. I recommend get started as soon as possible, as soon as you're willing to. But keep in mind, if you're going into it with little or no finances, it's going to be a slower process. It's going to be a more difficult process. And be prepared for it not to look nice like a lot of things you'll see in these YouTube channels be prepared to have it just look not polished not finished and that's okay in time you work make a little money you can upgrade I'm a big fan of get if you folks have followed this channel for any length of time you'll know I'm a big fan of act now start now Improve and upgrade as you go. Improve and upgrade as you go. And this is a highly, this topic is gonna to come with a lot of opinions, not necessarily facts, opinions. And I'm giving you opinions, but I'm giving you opinions based on experience. So maybe our total cost, not at one time, over the years of homesteading, four years of homesteading, um, not including the little bit of suburban homesteading. We lived in a, a highly populated suburb in New York around four years ago. Not including that time, talking about when we moved and actually got some acreage. I would say between six to $10,000 spent. That's spread out over four years. That's not a lot of money. That's not a lot of money. And we have our own eggs from our own chickens, obviously. That's what went, our own eggs, sweet. From our own chickens. We have rabbits for meat. We could harvest the chickens for meat if we wanted to. Haven't done that yet. We're just using them, having them produced for eggs right now. We've got um, three pigs now, two boars, one uh, gilt. This is the female pig that's never produced the. Uh, any piglets yet? Never had any piglets. Had any piglets yet? Obviously, have to produce them to have them. Um, we have 
a the beginnings of a food forest. We have two relatively large garden beds that are just rocks, shaped made with rocks. Two raised beds that were that were built from cedar. Um, yeah, and a whole bunch of containers, a bunch of potting soil, some organic fertilizer, shovel, wheelbarrow, shovels, wheelbarrow. Uh, well, actually, we already had that wheelbarrow. I believe we already had that. Um, so yeah, it's you don't need a lot to really get started. So don't be overwhelmed. And, and don't try to keep up with the Joneses. That's a problem people have in general around the world, especially Americans. It's a horrible way to live to try to just have what others have. Um, it can lead to jealousy. It can lead to unsustainable lifestyles that actually make you worse off than you would have been if you were not trying to keep up with the Joneses. Do you understand what I mean? Like, if you were not trying to keep up with the Joneses and have all the things your neighbors have and have the clothes like your peers and the vehicles that your peers, your neighbors have, whoever, if you were not doing that, you'd probably be in a better position financially. But yet, when you try to have what others have, and the same goes in the world of homesteading, if you try to have all these things other people have, you're actually going to have less in the long run because you're going to make yourselves go broke. So... Pick your goals, expect to go into it with at least ten dollars to $20,000. And you don't have to, you can go into it with $0, but expect, like I said, it to take a longer time and a lot more work. Um, and, then, and then you could just, you're gonna need some money at some time or some points in time. Um, yeah, if you got, you know, but just get started wherever you're at. If you are wanting to do this, you could also just pick, say, three months, six months, one year. I'd recommend not waiting too long. I would say a year maximum. I'm a big fan of getting out of cities, moving to rural places, acquiring land, and making things happen as soon as possible for many reasons. Please check my previous videos out discussing that topic or those topics. Um, but, yeah, pick a period of time and say you're going to save money, grind, not go out to eat not buy new clothes, not do certain things so you can take that money and have a nice chunk of money to start your homesteading venture. Ventures. And it's an adventure too. <laughs> um, definitely homesteading adventures for sure because it's interesting and it's fun. Um, and then that will make it easier for you. Having a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars, it will really, really help you out. I think it'll make it a lot easier for you. Make the experience more enjoyable. And um, that's that. If you got 20, 30, 40K and more, that's gonna make it a lot easier. You can get quite a lot set up and quite a lot of uh, things going for you if you've got over $20,000. And this is just range general numbers, folks. Um, yeah, so get started. Pick a timeline, pick some goals, move towards it, and don't be when people say, oh, you know, homesteading costs so much money, it's expensive. It's not expensive. It can be expensive. It's absolutely not expensive. It's not expensive. There's poor people. I say poor, I mean people that are statistically, numerically living in the poverty line. There's poor people across this country and across the world that are living pretty self-sufficient lifestyle, homesteading, and uh, they're doing it with little to no money. So it's it, that's a fact. That's a fact. Um, but unfortunately taxes, which are horrible taxation is theft. Um, I'm not even going to go there. Um, you can't escape property taxes, for example. And if you're making money, the government wants a portion of everything you do, everything you make, all of your earnings. So you can't escape those taxes. Um, besides that, pay off your debt, get focused, get, become used to being a minimalist, because in that, with that, having that perspective of being a minimalist, you'll actually be happier because you expect, expect less, you quote unquote need less. I struggle with the use of that word need. You'll want less and you'll be happier with what you have. So by not being a minimalist, you're actually robbing yourself of happiness, robbing yourself of joy. 
And um, you can do it, folks. Don't listen to these people saying you need a lot, a lot of money. It's nice, but you don't need it. You truly, truly don't. And um, yeah, we're how we're living is living proof of that. So here I am at work going to make that money so I can take that money, invest it in our homestead and invest it in our family's future. And I hope you, you folks are trying to do the same thing, chasing self-sufficiency and making those homestead dreams come true because you can and I believe in you and I hope this provides some motivation. If you like this 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 talk, this uh, while I'm driving, kind of just letting it all out, going for it, relaxed kind of chat or chat, I think has to be two ways maybe. But if you like this type of video, just subscribe, show support to the channel, be really appreciated. And uh, keep following folks, keep watching and just watch as things happen and we make things happen on our homestead. Take care, everybody.